In the previous presentation, we have learned what are quantifiers and we have seen two different types of quantifiers. The first one was universal quantifier and the second one was existential quantifier. In this particular presentation, we will deal with universal quantifier in details. So let's get started. Here is a simple definition of universal quantifier. The universal quantification of Px is the statement Px for all values of x in the domain. That means Px is true for all values of x in the domain. We will consider some domain. Under that domain, Px will be true for all values of x. So here is a simple notation that we will follow that denotes for all x Px. So here this symbol is called universal quantifier. This particular symbol is called universal quantifier and here this is the way we denote for all x px. Okay, this is the way we read it for all x. This symbol means for all. We will simply write x and then we can say px or we can read this as for every x px. Now, after understanding that what is the notation that we have to follow, here we should understand the meaning of domain. Let's try to understand the meaning of domain. Domain or domain of discourse. Both are exactly the same. So there is no difference between them. Sometimes we call domain or sometimes we call domain of discourse. A domain specifies the possible values of the variable under consideration. A simple definition that is a domain specifies the possible values of the variable under consideration. For example, let us consider the px, which is the statement x plus 1 greater than x. And let us assume that domain is a set of all positive integers. We will consider all positive integers as values of x. So we can take p1, p2 and so on up to pn. They must be all positive integers. That is the condition. So basically, domain gives us the restriction. This tells us the possible value that we can take for x. So here we can replace this x by 1. So this becomes 1 plus 1 greater than 1. This is true of course. And here we can replace x by 2. So this becomes 2 plus 1 greater than 2. And this is also true. Similarly, for the rest of the positive integers also, this statement is satisfied. Hence, we can say that px is true for all values of x under the domain that is set of all positive integers. So when the domain is given to you, then it means that you should consider only that domain. You can't consider anything apart from that. This is basically the domain of discourse, the possible values you can take for x. Now here is one important point for you to note. It is very important to specify the domain of discourse. Without specifying the domain of discourse, universal quantification of a statement is not defined. You should remember this that domain is very important. Without specifying it, our universal quantification will be null and void. Apart from this, from the above example, we can say that for all x, px is true under the domain of positive integers. Right? So for all x, px is true under the domain of positive integers. We will consider the different values of x as positive integers only. So this should be well noted because our domain is set of all positive integers.